Hey there guys, welcome to the Geek Group. I'm Chris, that's Moose, and this is Alginate, which is, it's like Jello, it, kind of? It is kind of like Jello. It's like super Jello? I think that's the closest comparison most people could have. If you've ever been to the dentist and had a set of molds made where they uh, take the horseshoe thing and they put pancake batter goop into it and they put it in your face and you gotta wait about a minute and a half and then they go punk and take it out and they pour plaster into it and make your, you know, a, a set of molds of your teeth, that's alginate. The, the goop they use that they put in your mouth, that's alginate and it's this stuff and this is Geltrate brand, Alginate Impression Material. And uh, it says right on there, U.S. federal law restricts this device to sale by or on the order of a dentist. So this is for dentists only. Don't tell anybody. Now we've got, what, four scoops here, uh -huh. okay. Now this is really neat stuff because it, uh, it's temperature sensitive like crazy. At, uh, if it's too hot, it'll, it'll set up instantly. And if it's too cold, it'll never set up. Now, it's made from algae. Um, in fact, they might even list the actual ingredients in there. Um, but, uh, do, 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 do. It smells a little funny. No, it doesn't really say all of what's in it. Just don't breathe it, that's bad. It's because well, it, it contains silica. And it's a very so. fine powder. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's super light, so don't breathe this stuff. You want to be really careful when you're pouring it and stuff like that. Right. So, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a mold of my finger, I guess. And when you do this, you want to do it quick. So, Moose has mixed a lot of alginate. She uses this for making molds. Um, we use alginate in conjunction. We do alginate, then plaster, then alumilite for a lot of our mold making here and we're gonna be doing videos on Alumilite. But for now, we're just gonna play with Alginate and do the first step of the process. It's very messy with that over there. It's, it's a very fine powder. <laughs> <laughs> and you really wanna follow the directions on the proportions. It'll seem like it's too dry at first, but if you add too much water, if you, if you keep going, oh no, it needs more, it'll and you add set. more water, it'll never set. And we're gonna fight this here under the lights because it's going to want to get warm and set too fast. And we just mixed an arbitrary amount to get it in the mold. Are you good? Sure. Okay. Now we have our goop and I'm just going to put a finger in this and wait a moment. Cool thing about alginate is it's really easy to clean up. So you first put in, and it's got, it's, it's got the consistency of like pancake batter. And it's really, really goopy. But you just wait, you have to be patient. And if you're used to working with like paint or plaster where things take a long time to cure, when you get into stuff like alginate and alumilite, it's a whole new world. And alumilite's really cool because it sets up instantly. Uh, and we'll, we'll, do, we'll do the thing we do Illumilite of like pouring it and have it yeah, set up. Yeah, that, that's a pretty exciting demo. Um, we were going to do Illumilite today, but I can't find my Illumilite. So we're doing alginate. Now, if you are used to using plaster, this is a totally different way of mixing it. And How with come? With plaster, you want to do it very slow and steady and take your time. Yeah, and with and this, it's go, go, go. You want to do this as quickly as you can. And it's a little awkward at first to be thorough with your mixing and be speedy at the same time. Yeah, I noticed there's, there are some lumps in there. There is some lumps. You got lumps. It's, it's really warm over here. It is. <laughs> yeah, it was way harder than I'm used to when, you, when like, you put it in the thing already. Yeah, it should be fairly cool in the room when you do this. I'm still goopy. You, know, you should be able to tell pretty clearly with your finger when it sets up, right? Yeah, you'll feel it. Yeah. I've done this, we use alginate a lot for making life casts where we have to do like a hand or an arm or a foot and stuff like that. So you, you get used to it. It's very cold. It's always cold. I had to use this to make casts of hands of about 50 different people once. Yeah? Yeah. Just waiting. You can poke it and see where it is. Yep, we're starting to set. 
And you do want to mix it by hand. I tried using a power mixer once on it, and it was too it's much. Bad idea. Yeah. Just because it aerates it, or yeah, what? you you want to not so much uh, mix it as sort of make it into a batter, fold it. Okay. <coughs> I think it's set up. Set it on the table. Let me poke it. Yeah. Now I don't have anything. All right. Now I've entombed my finger a little bit, so I'm going to pop it out. Now this is neat because what was goopy a few seconds ago is now totally solid. Doesn't come out at all. In fact, this is where it gets really cool. If you look at this, there's, there's two things I want to cover here. Um, Mike, can you get a really super, super zoom on that? I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but we're in high def. It'll work. No, I don't think that camera will go tight enough. Try, try camera two. Oh, it will. It will? Just it will? Oh, I got to move. OK. Mike, he moved. Here, I'm just going to set this right. Here. Ah, okay, you move. One of us. Okay, you move. I'm okay, it's move. easier for me to move on that. All right, zoom in really. Is that the tightest zoom you got? That's what I got over there. Okay. Now, if you look at that really close, I don't know if the camera can focus on it because I can see the autofocus wigging out a little bit. Um, can you zoom in? Is that all you got? That's all I got. That's all you got? All right. You can actually see the little tiny lines. Like, look at your finger and you can see the, the fingerprints, right? And if you look in even tighter, you can see the little lines between the skin cells. You'll see them really clearly on the back of your hand. You can actually see those on the impression here. And if you pour this with, cast, with uh, plaster, you'll actually get the, the skin cell lines. It's beyond the fingerprint level of resolution. Now watch this. This is kind of cool, too. This was, just a couple minutes ago, totally fluid pancake batter. And now. It's still, it's rubbery, it's gummy. It does harden a bit more over the next couple of hours. Yeah, and it, as long as you keep it moist, it'll stay dimensionally stable for like several hours. Um, this isn't the kind of stuff that you can keep around for years though or anything like that. I mean, even after uh, the next day, it's out a bit. And once it dries out, it gets really weird. But that is alumilite. Alginate. Or alginate, sorry, that is alginate. And watch this, it actually tears and you can use this for popping flash off molds and sizing things down a bit. But yeah, it's neat stuff. Alginate. And there's your fun with chemistry for the day. Thank you, Moose, You're welcome. for bringing your toys down and playing with goop. And now we got to go find the Illumilite. We do. All right. You guys have fun. That's it for today here at the Geek Group. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you are not a member of the Geek Group and you're watching this video this long, you should be. You're a geek. <laughs> you're one of us. Um, go to www.thegeekgroup.org and fill out a membership application. Membership is free and it is open to anyone who wants to be a member. So come on down and be a part and you can come out here and hang out and make your own videos. Playing with fire and Rubens tubes and burning glass and goop. And you can even pet the dog because nobody pets the dog. Nobody ever feeds the dog. Nobody ever gives her cookies. Omni! Her life is hell. She's been supervising the video shoot. Today. Yes, o Omni is here watching the video shoot when she's not licking her most delicate of bits. Hi, how you doing? Are you helping? Does this need sniffing? Okay. Smells bad. Sm it's, yeah, I like it. It's kind of minty. Yeah, most people think that's a bad smell. I like it. <laughs> Omni, do you like it? Dog approves. Not a judge of smell I want to trust. Yeah, you're rolling dead things. You're kind of weird. Yeah. Do you guys have fun? We'll have more for you tomorrow. See ya. Thank you. Yes, you're a good dog. Oh, you're a good puppy.